season finale of season two of Attack on Titan. Uh, very interesting that it's only 12 episodes. I was talking with my friend earlier, uh, Genova. He was like, I was like, yeah, man, I want to see if I can watch season three with you. So I was watching season two. And then by the time I knew it, I was on like episode four of season three because he assumed that it would be like 20 something episodes like the first season was. Uh, not the case. So uh, maybe it'll make sense. But either way, I already talked about all the things at the end of last episode going into this last one here. I want to see how Aaron deals with confronting the Titan that ate his mom showing up after all these years. I mean, that was five years ago. So, you know, Aaron's grown a lot, but he doesn't have any gear. Is he going to transform off a rip? Like, is it just that that rage going to suddenly overcome him? Like, how's he going to respond? And why did that particular Titan show up? Like, is it just a cruel twist of fate? Or is that deliberate? Probably just the, uh, the former, but we'll find out. And we'll see if we the retreat is successful. Um... If Reiner throwing fat titans at them will be enough. We'll see, man. So, uh, let's get into it. Beginning the episode in 3, 2, 1. Oh, don't do this. Oh, come on. But they have to show the moment because this is exactly what's running through Aaron's head right now. When he sees that Titan again, how helpless he felt. It's all going to come back and now he's going to make a decision. Oh, yeah. That creepy ass smile. Look at that. Then the slightly squinted eyes. This is just the most fuckboy Titan there ever was. That, that one is super silly. Like, what the fuck was that giant head? They just have a tiny ass body. Someone also pointed out to me that, um, that kind of the traits of Berthold and Reiner were kind of how they identified them early on. Like, how this person uh, suspected them early on, how. Reiner's haircut does look like the Armored Titans. Um, but also that he's just known for just being strong, being this, you know, pretty much a strong dude, the badass dude. And, you know, that's exactly how the Armored Titan is. He's like, he has like the strongest skin of them. And Berthold being like the tall one ends up being the tallest Titan. Scream. Oh, shit. Ooh. True to the objective to the end. Oh, my gosh. No, this is hell for everyone involved. Yo, Hannes, did he just tank that hit? Holy fuck. Hannes, you beast.
Yo, he recognizes it too. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Oh, God. Make a decision. Right. Oh, yeah, they're going to dissect your ass. And I, I've been calling it, I keep calling it Krista, too. That's my bad. Historia. Are we are we reevaluating her motivations again? I think Amir is just like her perspective is really twisted. I mean, because she wants to save herself, but she wants to save uh, Historia. Caught myself. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Let's go. Come on. There's something very jarring about this Titan. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't comment before, but yeah, his arms. Back good brand new. Good as new. Uh Yeah, not yet, buddy. I guess his fingers still need to heal. Oh. Oh dear. Damn, not John. Come on, that's the that's an OG member. Oh, he's out. He's out cold. Oh, Aaron, come on, Aaron, 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 Aaron. Aaron. Fuck off, man. Are you kidding? It's about to happen again. He's have to watch someone he cares about die right in front of him to the same Titan. To the same Titan. Bro. Dude. 
Dude. Bit his legs off. He, just as helpless as he was back then. Damn. She would break me, man. Hey, Hannes, not Hannes, man. Oh, Aaron's gone hysterical. Yeah, that's that's. He's laughing at himself. Yeah. Uh huh. Damn. Ugh. What what a moment to have amidst this chaos. And then Armin back there just frantically waving his blade. Like, I might be doing the same shit trying to protect my friend. Like, yo, back the fuck up. Oh, is she going to confess right now? Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's now or never. Oh, dear. I don't like how that one's looking at him. Oh, is she going for it? Yo. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, yo, his fingers are healed. It's time, bro. It's time. It's time. What? What? Why did they all feel that? What? What? Aaron is controlling that Titan? Wait, he's controlling all of them. Like... He like sent a signal to all of them. Dude, he's doing what the Beast Titan's been doing. Yo. I was just I was just about to give it up to Aaron how coolly he responded to Mikasa, but yo. Yo, he just unlocked a next he just unlocked a superpower. What? Yeah, rot in peace, you smiley motherfucker. Yo. Yo. So I guess she's made up her mind. <laughs> so the coordinate. Yo. Yo. Oh, shit. 
Come on. This is crazy. I guess this is like. Word. Fuck, fuck trying to understand it. Let's go. Dip. Made your decision. Uh. Wow. So I guess she's going to try to save them. All right, man. I guess when she realized that there would be a future within the walls for Historia, she made a decision. Oh, come on, Hannes. I feel like I just lost the uncle. Yo, yo, yo. I'm that was at 1540, by the way. Future self editing. Well, she saved him. Damn. A goddess. What? Is she referring to back then or all this time? I would live there in a heartbeat. Underground, please. Damn. Of course, that's always an issue. While Rose is secure. Shout out to Erwin living. Yo, the man. Oh, they're going to talk about Mama Titan. So everybody's hip to it now.
That's amazing. Yo, being the coordinate has its perks, I guess. Oh, yeah, of course. A game theory. Word. That's up to you, Playboy. Which is still a heavy burden, but that's at least where you could channel your energy. Like, yo, they died rescuing me. I got to go hard. I got to do my best for everyone, for Hannes, for mom, for everybody, every soldier. Uh-huh. The whole time. Essentially. But, you know, context. And that's, yeah, if I was Connie, that would fuck me up, man. Yo. What was he smiling for? He, like, realized something. I don't know what it was. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Like, yo, this is a step forward for sure. Probably not. Yo. That'd be great, man. I listen. Aaron is a, such a valuable asset now. If he can just do it, I don't know what activated. I don't know if it was that trauma in that moment that activated it, but he just re okay. Alrighty then. That's his dad. That's his dad. That's his dad. That's fucking Aaron's dad. That was, wasn't that his dad? Didn't that look like his fucking dad with like a different hair color? And he said, not yet, eh? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, he had like the hair in the, in the, like the round glasses. But he has, this guy has blonde hair. Was Aaron said blonde? There's no way. I, no, 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 no. I don't want to Google it because I don't want to spoil myself. But it's, he might, he's probably a different guy. Unless he's not. Fuck. <laughs> well, Aaron's that or not, he seemed like you know with the steam coming out it seemed like he was he wasn't just riding the back of the beast titan he is the beast titan he just emerged from the the shell and he said not yet eh is he referring to Aaron? either way man whoever the beast titan is he can also Make the Titans do things the same way Aaron just discovered he could. Are there multiple coordinates? I don't think so. I think that's just like a Titan ability that somebody who is the coordinate can access. Either way, Aaron's purpose is much bigger than what he can do now. Probably, but damn. Well, that was season two. Oh, man.
it's funny, man. When I, when people talk to me about this series or like how they felt about season two, and more more specifically about season two, they're all they're always like, "Yeah, man, it was it was so slow. I am really." And I'm like, "What? This is awesome. This season was great. Are you kidding me? I can't imagine what season three is about to throw at me. That season two was called like boring. What? Or slow? Like, I'm. I mean, I guess, but I don't know, man. I'm." Maybe it's just because I'm enjoying the show so much that it doesn't even feel like that to me, you know, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing, and it bodes very well for what the season three is about to throw at me, man. I'm happy I watched these two episodes today. I think I'm going to do that from now on just so I'm more prepared in terms of uh, uploading these videos a bit earlier because usually I, I end up watching these the day of and getting them done. I think it'll be a lot easier just to bulk watch these and... uh Especially, you know, with potential spoilers and all that. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching with me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. So I'm ready for season three. You know, humanity is just realized like, yo, Titans are people. Beast Titan is on the horizon acting like the time isn't right yet for some reason. Probably talking about Aaron, uh, especially if that is his dad. I'm, I might have to go back to the first episode and compare. Um, fucking Von Hohenheim motherfucker. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know what else to say, man. What else can I say? Uh, Ymir, uh, Ymir's actions are interesting. Um, I th- I think I think I get it. Um, I mean she cares about Historia, but she was torn between saving herself and doing, you know. For her and just that there was like like that was like her cognitive dissonance like for reiner it was just like the whole idea of you know having to go on this mission to eradicate humanity while acting like a soldier and becoming brothers and and you're, you're making brothers and sisters within like your the ranks of pretending to be a soldier and that's like psychologically it's fucking with you because you're like damn I'm, I'm caring about these people but i have to kill them i'm gonna have to kill them at some point that would fuck with me too, man. And like I said, it's unforgivable what they did. You can't forgive them. But, you know, me as a viewer can like sympathize on the level of like, yo, it's it sucks that you had to do that. And that's that's pretty much all I can give them. Uh Yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully they show us when Reiner and Bertolt take Ymir back. They show us who they're taking her back to that's like my main question like what's the the hometown what's this hometown we've been hearing about this whole time and and what what do these top dog titans or think are going to think or what are they going to do are they actually going to eat her so and also i i want to clarify this because i was confused about this earlier when because we saw Ymir was injected, but then they said, like, she stole, or she said herself that she stole, like, a, the gift to the Titan, or some, something like that. I, I, I'm I, assuming Marcel was also a Titan, given that that was their whole group. Uh, like, they were just all on the mission together, and they were all Titans, like, to infiltrate, to get through, and all that. Uh, I guess... They want it was obviously a crime for her to eat Marcel, so they wanted they wanted to punish her. So that's probably what she meant by that. But feel free to correct me on that front uh, if it's already been stated and I'm just not understanding it right. Other than that, yeah, ready for season three, man. That's it. Thank you for watching with me. Aaron is a badass, and phew, that new ability is crazy. Anyway, I could ramble on forever. I'll see you next time. Peace.